G'day and welcome to Between the Flags on the official Bondi Rescue YouTube channel. I'm your host, Steve Crombie, and today we have three very amazing gentle humans, uh, which will be coming on to the little stage with us today. We have Harrison. We have Jethro. Oh. And we have Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jackson. Okay, guys, we're going to get into the hot the hot times we're about to introduce a brand new game that we have created for you guys it is called <laughs> it is called oh, the Banda rescue bachelor <sighs> So we have three oh, of the most eligible Damn. bachelors in Bondi, possibly in the world here boy today. And they're here to compete for the hearts of every person, uh, or particularly for them, for the person of their dreams, which is represented by you, the audience. So they have to compete for your love. Um, there are six rounds today. There is one winner from each round. The question is, who will be the winner? Okay, it's very serious. Round one is called First impressions always last. Okay, guys, this is very important. Please stay focused as I explain the instructions and please make sure you are ready. <sighs> okay. We know you make uh, many people's heart flutter in your blue uniforms, but imagine you're on your very first date. What would you wear if you only had 30 seconds to get ready? And you have to choose from outfits around your house right now and your time starts now. Oh, oh. Can you do a countdown for me? How many seconds are left? I think there's probably 10. Three, Ten, two, one. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Oh, hey, bros, where are you? Look at Harrison, so so relaxed there. Oh, just try my hardest time that I had. Wow, you really pulled something on there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I feel like you're. I didn't really. I, I stayed true oh. to the time. Oh, but... look at you guys. Oh my gosh. Look. Okay. I lost my oh, so you all have basically <laughs> the audience decides. You all have a five-second pose. Because the most important thing about this is that first impressions always last. So you have five seconds to hold the pose of when the date first sees you at the door. Are you ready? <clears throat> Harrison, you're first. And you have, and, and basically just before you go, before you go, the audience has to decide, okay, at the end, and I'll do my best. Okay, Harrison, five seconds for the pose when they walk in the door. <laughs> Harrison, that was very strong. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. Oh, it's so unbelievable. Oh, uh Thank sorry guys jackson wins win. the first round jackson thank you okay. i'm very wet <laughs> you don't need to tell everyone that jackson. That's like the so. um, uh, okay round number two this is called winning on the first date so basically you really want to impress this person on your first date yeah, you guys are all single you want to take them somewhere special, something that means something to do, or do something special. Um, so, Harrison, this first question is for you. Harrison, we know that you can cook, but what would you cook to win them over? Look, to be honest, I can't actually cook. Um, I would actually um, I'd find out what time they're arriving, and I'd order something on Uber Eats, get it delivered, put it on a plate, put it in the oven. Then as they arrive, I'll take it out of the oven, just 
to uh, instead of something I heard earlier. <laughs> and what would you what would you order? <sighs> Probably a burger and chips or something. <laughs> wow. Very, very romantic. Very romantic. Wow. I love it. Uh, you're, you're clearly, you're going to win that day for sure, Harrison. Uh, going on with a big effort with the Uber Eats and the burger and chips. Just try to be the authentic you. Okay, Jackson, uh, you're a big music and festival fan. Uh, which musician, if you could choose anyone in the world, would you have playing on your first date? Well, it depends how into the girl I was, but um, I have to, presuming like, she was your dream, she was your dream girl. Oh, I'd put on Barry White and, and just go, that my darling, I can't get enough of your love, boo. <laughs> this is the love of your life, but you just really want to make her feel calm and soothed by you immediately. Oh yeah, rose petals on the bed. It's all, it's all, it's the full firework package. <laughs> full firework package. Oh my gosh, you're such a, you are such a package. Um, Finally, Jethro, you like to go exploring. Where would you take your first date if you could take them anywhere in the world and why? Oh, the lucky, the lucky girl will be going straight to the South Australian desert. We won't be showering for 10 days. We'll be eating some bloody beautiful pork roast on the campfire, I'll tell you that much, but there'll be no showers. This sounds very tempting. You know, one you have from Harrison, mm. you have a beautiful Uber Eats meal, a burger and chips straight out of <coughs> Harrison's oven after it's been cooked somewhere else. <coughs> Um, Jackson, you have Barry White singing in the background and Jackson also crooning along with you with his beautiful moustache. <clears throat> and with Jethro, you have 10 days, most in the desert, not showered, but really immersed in the moment. Uh, who would be winning on the first date? Who would you come away from and say, hey, you know what? That was the best date of my life. I'm going to stay with this man forever. Uh, over to the audience. I, feel like, I think Harrison wins here. Harrison, you're the winner. People want to have that romantic, authentic meal with you. It's strange, but it's true. Harrison, you win. Who would have thought that authentic you would win? Okay, so we have Jackson, one round. Harrison, one round. Um, and Jethro, yeah, you're right, trailing, bro. So <laughs> round three is called Surprise, Surprise. Okay, um, so basically, your date is about to arrive to your apartment in 30 seconds. And it's your anniversary, it's your first year anniversary, and you forgot to buy them a gift. You need to find oh. something in your apartment right now that you can give to them to show them how much you love them. And you have 30 seconds to find it. She's very sentimental. You have 30 seconds, your time starts now. Okay, guys, that helps it, oh my God. Jackson, Jackson, we're gonna go with you first. You're, 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 okay, the love of your life, she's just arrived at the front door. She's so excited. It's the one year anniversary. Jackson, you open the door and what do you say? And what are you doing? What do you got there? I said, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I forgot our anniversary, but here's some flowers from about three months ago. Um, and, <laughs> and I've got us also a, a, a nice candle, pure essential oils of sage, vetiver, cinnamon, clove bud, Eucalyptus Malay. Hope I can hope this is enough to make it up to you. That's a gold one there, Jackson. Thank you so much for your for your strong effort. Uh, Jethro, would you like to go next? I would. Um, look, my love, I'm sorry. I've been thinking about you all day, hence why I actually forgot to get you a gift. But luckily for you, I've always got one lying around. And here I have this monster truck poster that I got specially from you. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I think that's very romantic, actually. What, what, yeah. I mean, it's obviously something close to your heart, the monster truck, isn't it? Yeah, it's got 35 inch mud tires on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I love that one. Finally, Harrison, what do you have in store? I've just arrived, at, not me necessarily. Harrison, imagine that the love of your life has arrived at your front door and you say what? Well, just on the first say, the other guys are idiots for admitting that they had forgotten the anniversary, so I'm not going to admit that. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to walk in and I'm just going to go, happy anniversary, babe. You're a champion. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, what does the audience say? It's Jethro. Jethro is the winner with the authentic oh. monster truck answer. Oh, this is nice. I'm telling you. Chicks love monster truck I, I, day. Chicks love monster truck. That is so true. I bet a lot of women would validate that, uh, Jethro, just yeah, how mate. much they love the monster trucks. Okay, guys, round four. Now, this is a really important round. This is the chivalry round. So this is where we really see who you are on the inside and the outside. Um, basically, we ask you a question about someone else who's also competing for the love of this special person because you all love the same person, don't forget. So you really are fighting over this person. But how, who are you really as a, as, a, as a human on the inside? So we're going to start with this question. Harrison, what is Jethro's number one personality trait and why should he deserve their heart? Jethro, deep down, is, is soft, gentle, caring. He's, uh, he, you know, he's, he's created this facade of him being outdoors, rough and all that. But when you get to know him and you lock him down, he's, he's just a gentle soul. And uh, look, if your name's got four letters, you're the, you, you know, you're the woman for him. <laughs> that is beautiful, Harrison. I feel there's another meaning there, but I'm going to pretend I couldn't catch it. Jethro, I've got a big question for you. This is for Jackson. This is Jethro on Jackson. So, Jethro, we all come with flaws. What do you think is Jackson's biggest flaw? but also his best feature. Jackson doesn't have many flaws. Jackson's biggest flaw is that he will show you the world and he'll have no time to do anything else. He's a, he's a kind hearted guy, although sometimes he yells a lot and forgets almost everything that you tell him. But don't worry about that. It's because his love will fill your heart, it will fill your soul. Jackson's quite a good jerk. Oh. oh, big, big heart going up there. That's very chivalrous of you. Jackson. You're the last one. Okay, so Jackson, if, if Harrison met someone from another country and fell in love with them, do you think he would move his life to the other country for them? Why or why not? There is, there is no chance in hell Harrison's moving countries for anybody. So if you want to be with this beautiful, gorgeous, hairy man, then you're going to have to come see him over here in the flesh. He'll buy you lots of beautiful dinners, sausages, Uber Eats burgers and no salads, but it's all good. But you got the big fella and he'll take care of you. This yeah, is a really hard one. You guys have all been so, so chivalrous. Uh, we're gonna hand this over to the audience, guys. You're just gonna answer as quickly as possible. Oh, it's getting pretty tight. You know what? To make this a chivalry round, guys, you each get a vote each. Who won? I like Jackson with his honesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jackson's honesty was second to none. Jackson wins! Again, this round, round five, will you be my Valentine? You forgot it was Valentine's Day and your date really likes sentimental gifts. You have 30 seconds to come up with a poem to win their heart over and make sure they know that you didn't forget. Your time starts now. All right, guys, you have about five seconds remaining. I'll give you a bonus five seconds. Oh, who's ready? Oh, yep. Jackson looks like he's ready to go. Yes. Pens down. Okay. Over to you, Jackson. I kept it short and simple. Um, roses are red, violets are blue. I'm sorry I forgot Valentine's Day. I was busy doing a poo. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is gold. Uh, thank you, Jackson. Uh, Jethro, over to you. Uh, poem time. My girl, my girl. Just look at my curls. Why can't we just head into the long neck colored moonlight and make oh such a beautiful twirl? <laughs> <laughs> very authentic and, and from the heart again. Very creative, very creative poem. Finally, we have Harrison. I can't even hold your hand, but I love you with a love that no one can understand. Oh. <laughs> that is, that is, that is, that is. <laughs> Harrison, uh, A for effort. Uh, okay, audience decides. It looks like it's Jethro, guys. Jethro wins for creativity. We are at the end of the session. So the final round, okay, this is very, very important. Guys, for this one, we need a very authentic Australian delicacy. We need a, a can or a jar of Vegemite. Does everyone have a jar of Vegemite with them? Please hold it up if you do. It's lucky I just reached in my bedside table and I had this jar of Vegemite on me, Steve. 
You guys all have a have a spoon. This is a very in, in, important test. It, it it involves a spoon. Yeah, I've got a spoon. I'm just keeping it in my spoon. Oh, good, 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 good. Now, guys, this is really important. <clears throat> just to clarify, this has been an amazing uh, game show. This is Bondi Rescue Bachelor. Okay, yeah, everyone is competing for the love of their life, which which is currently measured by their love for the audience. So they're competing for you, the audience, ultimately, uh, but in the shape of their perfect person in their world. So in the final round, basically the way it goes, you want your date to know how much they mean to you. The only way your date can truly measure your love is by how much Vegemite you are willing to consume in one mouthful. Are you willing to do what it takes to win their heart? Because the winner takes all. Oh my God. Are you ready, guys? We're watching. <clears throat> you have five seconds to take the spoonful. Five seconds. Dig it in. Show the spoon. Holy oh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Show the spoon. Gosh. Harrison. Can no, I just, no, just a disclaimer. After, after I put this in my mouth, I probably can't oh, answer oh any more God. questions for the day. So it's been a pleasure, oh everybody. Okay. For tuning in. Thank okay, you. let's do this. Uh, I'm I want to see you in the mouth. I've got to win this. Right. Add. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is... <laughs> That's out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh that was oh that That's was hectic. horrendous mate that is that was, so horrendous oh my god yes okay just you can spit it out you can oh, spit it out. Don't, don't, don't swallow it go get rid of it you win jethro yeah. wins the very first bondo rescue <laughs> Bachelor, you have won the heart of the band, Jethro. And that was uh, an amazing session. Jethro, just to clarify, you are the winner of the Bondi Rescue Bachelor. Thanks to the viewers. Thanks to everyone who participated to help us vote. My name is Steve Crombie. We are over and out. Um, thanks to these single guys. Have a wonderful week and stay safe from COVID. Thank you, guys. Woo.